Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about parakeets. Now, this is just random information on parakeets, so if you have a project you have to do, or some kind of research paper you have to do, um, this video is perfect for it. I'm going to be talking about parakeets originally, where they're from, and all different types, because there's more than the ones you know, like the ones like this. These are the ones you guys probably know the most, but there are other types out there. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with the question, what are parakeets? Well, parakeets belong to the parrot family. Although they're not as big as parrots, they're still in the, like, that family of parrots. The word parakeet means to have a long tail. Parakeets are about seven inches normally, and they live up to 15 years. If they're a pet, 15 years would mean you've taken great care of them. These birds are super duper graceful and they love people. Like this guy. Well, not every single parakeet, but if you train it to like people, it will like you. So, this is my bird, Guji. She's a female because you can tell because of the pink nose or it's like light pinkish. And she's pretty skinny. And, you know, she's that type of green color that you would often see parakeets. But she is about three years old. So, this is my bird. She's not a big human fan, but I have my other two that do like to chirp. And they actually do like humans. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about is parakeet origin. Where are parakeets most diverse? Well, they're found around the world, but mainly in Australia, the New World of Central South America. And um, in Australia, they contain over 30 different colors of parakeets, other than just the common colors of green, yellow, and blue, and maybe some white. So they have lots of different colored parakeets. So here's a parakeet from Africa. As you can see, it's light blue, and it's really not like one of those normal parakeets you'd see. This is a plain parakeet, and it's not a budgie gar. Okay, so all parakeets are parrots, but not all parrots are parakeets. So parakeets, they contain um, many different unrelated species found across the globe from um, Australia to Asia and the subtropics of Africa to Central and South America. So now I'm going to talk about the characteristics of a parakeet. So if you look at my parakeet, ow. So if you look here at my parakeet, her body is pretty skinny, and you can tell she's a female by her nose color. It's like a light color, it's not blue or anything. And she's got a long tail. Um, the colors on a parakeet usually are very rich, but it sounds like Guji here has more like just the green colors. She does have a little bit of blue and some black on here. So if you look at her beak here, it's multifaceted and it's, um, she has a hooked, or all parakeets have a hooked upper bill so that they can use it to climb, hold on to things, or even dig. Like, she wanted to bite onto my finger, which... I can kind of pull it along with it. And um, they also use their beak to chew, break seeds, and peel fruit. So if you're considering giving your animal fruit or your parakeet fruit, um, make sure it's not a big chunk of it. So this parakeet shown here is from the group called Triberini, which are the American parakeets. Typically, they're found from Mexico, um, extending south through Central and South America. So this parakeet here is like the normal ones we'll usually see. It's from the tribe Platycercini, which are the Australasian parakeets. This tribe contains over 30 different parakeet species from Australia, which many of them are very colorful. So this parakeet here is from the tribe Psittaculini, which are the Asian and African parakeets. The Asian parakeets are somewhat different. If they're a pet, they can be quite diverse from one bird to the next. And this last picture of this cute parakeet is just a plain old parakeet. So thanks for watching my video today on the Gushy episodes on parakeets. Gushy is not with me right now, as you've noticed, because she wants to go back into her cage. And I just thought, 
It's been a long filming, just let her go. So yeah, I'll see you next time on the Gushy Episodes. Bye!